Hello and welcome back, everyone. Today we're going to continue our journey in seven days to die. Previously, we had basically spent the whole time mining and building, just overall leveling up pretty well, which is always good to see. So, I want to build some more. <laughs> Uh, as you can see, we're still at the uh, the six day blood moon frequency. Um, so we're just kind of waiting to see when exactly that happens. Let's go ahead and start here. So, yeah, the the question is, is it going to assume that it's always been six days? If if that is the case, then it should be 54 would be the Blood Moon day, right? If not, it could be 55 because the last Blood Moon was on the 40, 49th. Or it could be 56 since we turned the setting to this on the 5th. We're looking at anywhere between the 54th until the 56th for the Blood Moon. So I, I don't want to move around a whole bunch and potentially be caught out, you know, near the end of the time. Uh, let's see. We were still making a bunch of concrete and steel and all that. Basically fortify the base. You know, that's what we're going to continue doing today. I think we'll see a point in not continuing to fortify the base. So we'll just continue doing it. So what do we got here? We have lead being produced there. So let's throw some more lead in here. Good start at least. Pop off the clay as well. All right, and then I think I have stone in this, right? Wish I had some stone to put in here rather than just wasting stone, but we'll go ahead and do that. So making gunpowder. Perfect, perfect. All right. So let's go ahead. And now that we have a little more concrete, we can continue building this area, which is almost done. So thankful for that. Like last time, I'm just gonna fill it with the normal concrete blocks just so I don't have to place and upgrade the wooden ones right now, just to save ourselves a little bit of concrete down the line. And then we're gonna place a layer of this here. And this will be upgraded to cobblestone. I just hope we have enough cobblestone. That's the main problem. Oops. I'm so used to just having no cement that I accidentally just did that. This entire wall is now completely fortified, except for the bottom row. Go ahead and do some of that here. And speaking of, I think we should get rid of this, because the zombies could get up there and just try to jump across, so it would be wise for us to remove this little bit here.
Oh, I am out of fuel as well. Okay, well, we're all gonna have to go get some more fuel before we can finish that up, but luckily, we can do that over here. And we have plenty of gas set aside, so... We don't have to worry too much about that. We'll grab that and refuel. It's crazy looking. Okay. Let's finish bringing this a little bit down. little piece here. This should not be up right now, but it is. It's insane. Okay. That all fell. Let's just remove this bit now, and that'll fall. And then we can get jagged peaks here. Nice and flat looking. Now we have a nice wide open area around our uh, home in this direction as well. So that's very good to see. I'm also going to take the chainsaw out and get rid of this tree here. A little too close to home. Perfect, okay. We got here bandages, meat, and robotic parts. <laughs> okay. Take it. This one tree is like in the middle of nowhere. Back out of that. Kind of an eyesore to be honest. Let's also get rid of this tree here, it's just behind my, uh, my man. Okay. As usual, do we see any zombies hanging out around in shooting distance? I don't think I do. I think we're fine here. Alright, let's go ahead and go back into the mine. And we will get some more stone and lead and... Everything that's down here. All right. First, though, let's uh, kind of get ourselves a way to get out of here easily. That'd be good to have. Just kind of mine up here. And over here. I don't need for that one to go, but okay. Alright, so this give us a nice slope up here and we can continue to lower it as we need. I can have there. Perfect. I got a slope here. Let's get rid of these edges. there perfect okay all right all right okay. 
continue this way. I'm just going to mine until we have Nightfall. Do anything there. That's a little bit risky business. That should be okay though. Okay. Like I said, I'm trying to not mine any further in like any directions. I'm trying to just go down, you know. Just going down would uh have the cave not cave in. That is the plan. Oh, I hear a zombie. Let's go take care of that problem quick. Anybody else? Oh, there's a deer over there. Might as well kill it. I don't see deer too often, so it'll be a good source of meat for us. We'll get a bit of the mouth agape. Okay. I think the screamer was the only one here. Might as well chop this tree down. Close to it. There we go. Okay, back to the mine again. I was sink, sinking there for a second. So I was kind of concerned.
On me? No. Yep, I hear one. Okay. I'll just finish up this little bit here and he'll kill it. Okay. Reload the auger and go kill that streamer up here. Hey! Stop it! Yep. Idiot. Alright. I'm just a little bit here. There we go. Oh, this is so catchy. Figured it might be a bit wise to not take my truck over here in the off chance that we do end up causing a cave in. Because it uh, might take the truck down with it if we were to do that, so. Fighting against that. I think it was fairly good to do. Here, another zombie. God damn. They just do not want to let us be in peace, huh? Hey, lady. You can't park here. I do love that I just kind of come up and just like bop them in the head once and they die. It is just so satisfying. This place is getting crazy. Let's repair the auger while we have a, a moment. And then I'm going to go ahead and make a bunch more cobblestone while we're just doing nothing here. And I think, hold on, let me just go ahead and go over here. I'm going to drop these seeds that we don't need. Perfect. Go ahead and rearrange my materials. We can just sell. I'm also gonna make like 500 more frames. 
fucking short there. Actually, let's do 488. Because they stacked to 500 and I got 12 left. We'll do that. maintenance here quick. There. All right. Back to mining. All right. And then... want to have your extra prepared first in case things get dicey, you know. Here and continue on this side. This stuff. I think we were pretty much done with everything we wanted to get upgraded for Hidden Strike here. And now that that's done, I think all we can do now is just wait to increase it even further. Yep, zombies up there. Okay, the old zombie. And then I think we should head home because it is getting late. So, we are our last hurrah here. Stop it! I actually missed her head that time, so. Yo, perfect. All right, let's head home. And then we'll continue making supplies to upgrade our base. Also, while we're here, and I think I have some cement left, I have one upgradable piece of cement left. There it is. I can go ahead and do that. And then we're out. Okay. We just need to finish up going around here. Now, uh, once we have more steel, I can finish going around the outside perimeter here, which will be nice. Got that really bright. I'm gonna turn that back off. Ah, uh, never mind. Okay. 
I'm gonna break up the stone and put it into there. Even though we don't really have that much to spare. Um, how much do we have here? Two thousand. Let's just make a thousand here. A thousand here. That's all we have because what, what makes crushed sand stone? Okay. So right now we're just waiting on more cement mix, is it? If that's the case. How much can I make now? Okay, so let's make six hundred and six hundred. Excellent. That'll help us out. Go ahead and take all this. Go ahead and make more bullet tips. But like I said, our main issue here right now is the bullet casings. We don't have many of those left over, which is un... Oh, this is kind of disconcerting. Um, take two of those bars there, and let's go ahead and store the rest of our materials here. There. There. Okay. We got our reinforced drawbridge finished. I'm going to go ahead and just store it in the building materials box for now. I think I want to make a couple more forges, to be honest. Um, so let's get leather, duct tape, pipe, and clay. Leather, duct tape, pipes. I'm going to have to take from here, but I want to make uh, two more furnaces, I think. No, I just want one. I don't want to cancel it because it's already going. I'll just wait until it uh, finishes the first one. It's going to be seven more seconds anyway. Got it. All right. And uh, go ahead and get these wooden shape here. Put another furnace up here. And I think. Um, this one is, yeah, it's out of iron. So what we'll do is we'll put iron only in this one. Of course, we're going to have to put in the, uh, um, play as well at some point. But figure if we have one forge for stone, one forge for, like, iron and brass, and then one stone for iron, we can always have stuff producing quite efficiently. That's what we're going to be doing here. So go ahead and store... Well, hold up. For bellows, I need... Five nails. Ugh. Okay. Go ahead and... Uh, get a couple of nails going, I suppose. Exactly what we needed. Perfect. Alright, advanced bellows, craft, and then what is this? do the forge smelting speed, which is nice. Then anvils the crafting speed, so we're going to need one of those. Which is going to be iron clay. We have plenty of that. Oh, do I have to to make in here. Okay. 
I got you. Hold on, let's put more clay in here. We'll have to get more clay in order to make one. And then we need the crucible, which it allows for forged steel, which honestly, if we just turn this off, cancel that, take the crucible out of there, and turn this back on. Actually, hold on, let's put some more wood in here. And then do a bullet tips here. Boom, there we go. Because the uh, the forge that's making, you know, normal stuff. Or the, the bullet stuff. It doesn't need the crucible. Whereas this one does. So. So I need um, a thousand iron in order to make that. Okay. Grab that. And grab that. I can go ahead and store all this stuff back away. Excellent. It's so much iron that I just need to use. Can I do anything with basic iron right now? Like, to create stuff? I can make AP turret ammo, not that I use a lot of it though. But I could if I wanted to. Let's see. Bears, scrap armor, spotlights, time charges, pressure plates. That's all? Okay. Nothing too crazy. In that case, then. Why is the door open? I, at this point, I cannot tell if I'm the one who's leaving that door open, or if it's... Like, I'm accidentally... Well, like, when I'm loading into the game, it's, it's leaving it open for some reason. I'm gonna be careful here. Don't wanna accidentally upgrade any of this to be steel. Okay. Out of steel again. That's fine. Let's go back up here. Go. Let's get some food and water because that's getting a little low. Okay. We have plenty of meat, so eat it all. stats. Um, here? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I've been, I've been taking the bars here to be zero from a hundred. I did not realize I had 170 food and water. Um, since that is the case, yeah, I, uh, yeah. Now that I know that, half of that would be uh, 65. Well, from half health, I would need to eat six, or not half health, half hunger, I would need to eat six of the uh, boiled pork in order to get full again. And, oh, well, well. So that stuff's producing, that stuff's producing. I'm gonna go ahead and throw more of the lead in here. All right. I'm gonna stop the cobblestone real quick. So I can get the uh, wooden frames first here. Okay. 
now what I want to do is I want to, uh, first of all, remove these. This is just going to get in the way. So that's all cleared and away. Now, I did expand this one out a little bit further. That should be fine. Okay. Let's just finish making a kind of top for this area here. Those are like four, so let's go one, two, three. One here, one, two, three, and then four. Make a roof there. Upgrade that. Yep. Kind of a weird, jagged one, but that's okay. I just need to get the basic look of it down first. Okay. I didn't want to waste the concrete on that, but okay. Flex. Why are these damaged? Did I shoot some of those or something? Oh. All right. So that's like that. Now the question is, how do I... I'm gonna get some iron. I think I will need it. Oh, why do I have sand? Hundred and five. I'll make fifty. That out there. There. I'm actually going to go ahead and store the cement that I have in here. I don't want to accidentally use it, you know? Like I always end up doing. It might be nice for like repairing stuff, but I'd rather just not use it. I didn't. I have the choice. Make sure all these look good. I think as long as I'm not fighting near them. Usually last a good amount. This piece is actually worthless because it's not being used right now, but that's fine. Okay, you yeah, know, that's damaged. Okay. So if that one is there. Hmm. It's right here. Would be a good place for another one. gonna look a little weird and janky, but uh, remove that one, that there, and then remove that one. Okay. The main goal right here is to just make sure it has solid supports for the uh, the top and everything. So that way it uh, is going to cave in on top of me, you know. That would be the worst thing to happen. Things could be worse things, but for now that would, would be the worst. All right. Perfect. Okay. 
go ahead and go over here quick. And... Oops. Wait, is that what I want to do? No. I need one more layer on there, I think. So, I'm going to go ahead and build... Nice row there. And that'll be the top for this. So this extra layer on top might be a little unnecessary, but I figure why not, just to make it look cool or nice, whichever. Assuming he's trying to come through here, yeah. Didn't realize that door's open. Okay. So, uh, the vault doors must open up automatically when I load into the game or something. I know I didn't leave that one open. That's kind of spooky. But okay. I need my concrete now. Get it over here. Grab this. I just realized this area right in the here is a little weak because they can just go through two openings there through there so that's all help out a bit I think but we might as well make it all the way over here so it's a nice square corner and not something weird Here with a nice cobblestone top. Excellent. Okay. Now we have a nice uh, kind of loop around here. Perfect, perfect. All right. So let's transform these into bars. I'm going to start with the corners, I think. Got one there. Two. Three, and then a normal one will go on top here. I'm just going to do the same thing over on this corner. One, two, three. Look for any zombies out there. Oh, we got some ones over there. We can take them out real quick. Biker first. Biker again. Oops, he didn't have that up in time. Let's go. I think they're dead. We got another one over there we can take out. Oop, missed him. He's gonna shoot in the body. Still died, so that's good. Another lady over there. Hey, lady. She's dead. This is why it's nice to have like a, a nice open visual area where you uh, 
can see your surroundings, so they're not like blending in with trees and stuff. So it's just all zombies as far as the eye can see. I kind of want to get rid of all those trees. At least up until the burning city biome there. Good. Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of the cement again so I don't accidentally over upgrade stuff. Especially just those. Yep. Can I make an anvil yet? I can! Crap that, baby! Alright. While we're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and exchange out the clay for the iron. That I can all just start turning into straight up iron. That'll be great. Boop, boop, boop. For the bullets in here again. Okay. Right, so we got that there and that there. Go ahead and turn these into normal bars once more. Let's go ahead and finish putting them in here. Come on. Perfect. And then I think I'll just finish this roof. It. Not, not, not what? Didn't I tell it to be a normal shape? Maybe I'm just dumb, I don't know. Not there. And then we're gonna need some there and there, and then do that. Have this kind of be our, our entryway. In fact, I could just put like a door here or something if I wanted to. Like, I don't think I really want to though. So, gonna that's just gonna kind of be the the edge of it. Yo. Here. Okay. Of course, the main supports here so that the thing doesn't lose all ability and just collapse. That would be most uncool. problem is going to be what to do with that area there. Um, yeah, that'll be the question. For now, let's go ahead and I'm going to put that there and there. Switch this to bars again. Or we can put them here and here. Right, and let's use advanced rotation and I'm gonna start filling in all the stuff over here that we haven't filled in quite yet. So let's start with this area. Okay, that's finished. We can do this bit here. center ones here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And this is going to be our cage to protect us from birds. And the birds are still going to want to attack, so they'll either like try to come in through this area that's open, or they'll try to attack the bars 
get through, but that'll narrow down the like approaches that they have, right? So they'll either have to go through here to get me, which I can always just check, and I'll know that, oh, they're always gonna be coming from this one direction. Or I'm gonna hear them attacking my, my ceilings and be like, oh, we just aim up and kill it, so I'm not gonna be taking a bunch of damage from that. I Means the only real threat that I'll have anymore will be from cops using their bile to try and puke on me. That's not how that one should go. Nope. Nope. Okay. We are, and then I think that's... Oh, we need one more there. Sorry. That's everything that I want to build up right now. So let's go ahead and upgrade these. Putting these two over here. Look at that, 26,000 experience so far. We've got just from upgrading and stuff. Absolutely insane. Thirty-two thousand. Probably get a thirty-five. Oh, just under thirty-five. Dang. If we would have had this stuff laid out, we could have gotten there. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so that should be everything upgraded now. Let's go ahead and go around this outside area here next. I can reorientate the bars here, that is. Second. Okay. Here. And of course, we'll have to do the uh, block above them all. Here we go. Beautiful. And then we will turn it. And it might be easier just to start from this end. So we can just do this. That's a lot faster. Excellent. Okay, and then... 
repeat it once more. And put this up. Ah, not there. Yep. That'll go there. Um, let's switch to the block form now. I think right here I'm going to go ahead and put up a pillar there. So that way I can do that to kind of give some stability right there. Right? And then let's put a pillar. I guess here would work. Not really all that necessary, but. Three, four, five. Yep. And upgrade these. Stone. We're, we're pretty good so far still, so that's good to see. Um, I think we were doing it like this, yeah? around the outside edge here. Perfect, and that is now done. So now what we have to do is just upgrade all that. And that'll be good. Mm. So the question is, if I just leave this over to here, that's where that ends up, okay. Which it might not be a bad thing for it to end up here. Those, but no, I don't think that's how I want it to look. This side will be, uh, like I said, the, the the part that goes up will be interesting, having to figure out how to deal with that. Oh. I, for this garden, I could remove the railing at the back and put down just a normal, like, block along this way. And then all of this could just have the stuff into it, right? And then I could go from here up higher to make another cage. And like that, you know. But I don't, I don't really know yet. Kind of depend. Anyway, let me Okay. First of all, let's go ahead and just upgrade everything we can here. Not sure we'll have enough cobble for everything here, but at least if we can get the outer perimeter solidified, that'd be a good start. So, I think we have what, like uh, a little over a thousand cobblestone left, so. We should get fairly far. We might not be able to do all of it, though.
Not bad, not bad. There's 30,000 experience right now. Can we level up before we're out of materials? I think we'll be out any second now. Yep, we're out. Well, news upgrade to wood on all of this. Everything upgraded to wood on the perimeter, at least. I would just have to do a little bit of cobble here, and that'll be good for us, but we ran out of cobblestone materials, which is not great. Go ahead and grab more of our lovely concrete powder here. How's this stuff looking? I'll go ahead and top both of those off. Iron a little bit there. That was the, uh... Yo! Bam! Anvil's done! Yeah. Alright. Let's read this. We're still making the lead. Let's go ahead and store a little more in there. Stone's coming out. Let's go ahead and finish making more cement there. Got plenty of time for all that. Let's go ahead and grab the gunpowder. And it looks like this is actually finished. Turn that off. Okay. I suppose what we can do now... I want to take out all of the materials we can get here. And... Can I make slug ammunition? I can, but I need plastic. Hmm. What does slug ammunition do? Armor piercing shotgun and when it fires a single projectile, damage falls off rapidly between the effective range. Hold reload to use alternate ammo type. Why does shirt shotgun to make shotgun F. We can make shotguns, shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. Um Yeah, so this is the tool I can make. We can make shells or uh, AP slugs. I guess the question is, what do I want to do, right? I guess, let's, how much, how much plastic do I got? Quite a bit. Let me take just this stack here and go ahead and make as many AP slugs as we can here. Just to at least have another variety type of ammunition here. And then let me check how we're doing on, we're not doing too good on the 7.62. So we might actually go ahead and make all the 7.62 we can at this point. Which, that takes up all of our, um, all of our casings. And then I'm just going to go ahead and use all of the uh, rest of the gunpowder to make as much normal shotgun shells as I can. We'll go ahead and just store everything back here. For now, all we really need to do is get more gunpowder and brass. And then we can go ahead and actually get more of this stuff going on. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and store that in there. I'll go ahead and store my nuggies and stuff in there. I could scrap this. Or better yet, I'll melt this down. I think if I melt it down, I get more resources than if I were to just not do that. Very eloquent with that word in there. I know. But, uh, go ahead and recap my stuff there. And then I have 69 frames. Nice, by the way. Uh, so I need 431 to make another stack of 500. So let's go ahead and do that. Might as well have them start making while I'm just around here. So this will have us good on ammunition for quite a while. That'll be good, uh, at least for shotgun shells and all that good jazz. 
We might actually need a new storage chest for shotgun shells now that I think about it. That's all right. And hard to see him is not like full. There we go. Nice. Okay. All right. So we're we're doing all right with our pistol ammo. At least we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stacks of the AP ammo, and then one, two, three, four, five, six stacks of the normal ammo. So we don't use the pistol ammo too much in terms of defense, just because it's not as good, but, uh, hard to smoke at the mouth there, my bad. Damn. All right, that's done. Let's go ahead and throw our lead back in here to start getting that gun. You can see I got 251 brass from that. I should actually check how much scrapping would have gotten. Yeah. Anyway, I think... Do we just... Do it. What do I need for cobblestone again? I need clay, and I'm gonna need more clay regardless for the furnaces. So I think we just go get some clay at this point. Um, tell you what, let's go ahead and get rid of some of these trees too, because we are low on wood as well. So. I'm going to chop down at least all these trees here. That tree really wanted to die, huh? Put some bird nests here, too. is lead, yeah. Yep, that's lead. I don't need it right now, though. Yep. Head back to this pool. These trees and stuff out of the way. Said, I like my, my base to be flat. These are actually pretty good sources of stone, so I'm gonna take these. I'll take this down. I'm not gonna just cut away the bottom on this one. It doesn't matter right now, we need to get two skill points anyway, so. Fall and oh, it didn't turn into anything, so that works for us. We're gonna rest of these trees up until the destroyed town here. and stuff also means less stuff for our truck to hit. So. 
I like it. This little group of trees here out of the way. This one. For clay, I can just get rid of this. me right now. I'd have heard like a growly voice or something. Anyway, let's take this stuff out too. I swear the developers have like made the sound bite for the um, auger. I swear it has some like zombie growling in it just to mess with you. Because I keep hearing zombies sometimes, but I never see them. And if I was a developer, that is exactly something I would do. Where I would have the, uh, you know, sound effect of like zombies being something that's really loud. But have we just subtle enough to where you have to question yourself whether or not it's real? Alright, and with that, we have a beautiful open area. We can see plenty of zombies around our house. Only other way we have to do is like over there across the street and stuff. Fine. So where was that iron deposit at? Over here. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just go. Okay. So. Hmm. Considering if I want to drill here or not. I mean, I could get a little bit of uh, soil and stuff, but I think I might just go... You know what? Let's go over here. First of all, I'm going to get rid of the uh, iron that I left over here. Go. And there's also just a bunch of other deposits around here, like the niter and this iron and all that stuff that I frequently run into with my car. I don't like that. Let's get rid of them.
go. Get rid of this. This big rock out of the way. We got some boys coming. Let's uh, get up a little bit higher, take them out. Oh my god, can I not aim right now? Where is the... There he is. Maybe I should take him out. Oh right, I forgot there's a little drop down there. Huh? God. Okay, he's down. You next, sir? That's everyone. All right. You down. I'm gonna get rid of this iron over here too. Perfect. These two bird nests. Okay. I'm gonna flatten things out a bit. Like it's jagged here, you know. Okay. Then got that. We were working on this. Right, okay, let's go. I made it through the rock. Leave that up for right now. Move that a little bit. Do this side. Back away from that real quick. Let it all fall. And take it out. Perfect. And 
that's all nice and flattened out now. Perfect. And look, our base is like the only thing that is standing in this nice little just circular area. Isn't it just beautiful? Just the, the sheer strength of deforestation and destruction of the dust. Just kiss. I'm... Okay. Get rid of that rock too. So now I don't have to worry about going around anything when I'm coming back home from my trips out to the trader and stuff. It's just... All right. Now, our original goal was to get clay, which we admittedly have not gotten a lot of. Um, thought I just heard a dog growl. Well, anyway. Um, we don't really use this patch of land here a lot. I figure what I'll do... I'm just going to kind of dig on the border between the... Uh, forest and the desert. This should get me both sand and clay, which I need. That would be really nice. I'm not sure why I got a seed from that, uh, this stubby little thing there, but okay. I love the auger. This would be such a pain if I had to use a shovel. gotten a lot. I can equip this. I guess the word equip threw me off, but I guess that's what it says for like this stuff too is equip. I hope I can just like throw it or something, but apparently not man. We might be getting a little bit far away. Oh my god. Look how much we've dug up. Okay, well, let's, real quick, let's return back. I want to see how my stuff is going. Because... Let's kind of check our resource production here. I also don't want this to get too full of items to the point where it cannot continue. Should be good there. Go ahead and restock that. Restock the lead. Go ahead and break up some of the stone and restock that. Take the cement that it's been producing. Produce more cement. All right, I can make 133. But 1333. So that would be divided by two, uh, almost 700. So we'll do 700 here. And the rest here. Take that away. And then I can go ahead and make 5,000 cobblestone rocks with all the other clay that I have. Go ahead and store this stuff here. Honey, egg. 
Do I have more coal? I do not. I'm out of right now. Unfortunate. You know what? Actually, give me this. This clay. Cancel that. But, excuse me, my god. Alright, we got an hour's worth of production for cobblestones coming. Excellent. Quite a lot. What else do I have here? Just a bunch of iron to smelt. Like, so much iron. Oh my god. Alright, well... Might as well make a bunch more bullet tips while we're waiting. And we'll also go ahead and make some board casings there. This isn't building anything, but... Why, why does it take a chemistry bench to make military fiber? That seems odd. Hmm. Well, whatever. Um... Can't really do anything with it, though. And this is all making that, and that's just a slow process, so that's fine. Okay. All that stuff's producing, and it looks good. Excellent. Right, so let's try to get a little more play while it's still daylight out before we... I don't want to be mining a whole bunch during the night, because I feel like that's when the zombies would come up. So I'd rather be building at night rather than mining at night, you know? Let's just get a couple thousand. Yes. I'm cutting some wood now. I think I'll settle for around 4,000 clay right now. Or maybe just when we run out of fuel for the... Uh auger, because that might happen first. I'm gonna refuel again, just so we can keep going until we're out of fuel. Alright, so yeah, we'll just go until we're out of fuel again, I guess. I'll pick some more up before we go back inside of the house. Back here. Yep. 
We definitely got a full stack. Nice. A little too deep right there. Out of fuel. It's good timing since it's almost night as well. Works for me. And there we go. We're out. God damn, we are a natural disaster. And I'm alright with that. Let's grab another thing of gas. We'll just reload this and we'll head back up in order to continue building. First of all, let's finish this up before I forget about it. Do I have any cement on me? I do not. Okay, perfect. Look how nice this is now. I can just kind of see in all directions without having my vision hampered by, you know, zomboys, zom girls. It's just so cool. the outside with this. And then just do to have a space that is we don't need any supporting beams for that we can just put all the things on top there nice and then na, 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 na. let's do I'm down here, and that's like that. I'm trying to think how this will look after I... I, I didn't even realize my, my thinking thing was here. Yeah. So, I want it to all be kind of under a dome, right? Including this bit. So if I raise this, and raise that, Basically, for me to harvest things, I think it needs to be three tall here at least. So, if you just look at the, the height of the corn, it needs to be at least that tall. So, we'll probably go one taller for here at the very least. So, it's like that, right? So, one, two, and then three there. So, let's go ahead and just fortify these because we know that's going to be the limit for crops. And then also, I'll just make another one here. 
four, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. That's like that now. And to be completely honest, I, I kind of want to remove this hatch. It, it's only getting like in the way. I never use it. Um, I don't think I can pick it up, can I? Well, let's go ahead and get rid of it then. It only makes it harder to, for me to get out of it, I'm saying, you know? Alright, and it's gone. Perfect. Uh, that's gone. Question is... That's like that. Maybe I... This connects to the switch, which connects to the lights, yeah. I need to repair it. What's wrong with it? Whatever. I wonder why I can't pick these up. Oh, I can take this one. There's another one over there I couldn't take, though. Didn't even give me the option. Anyways, the spotlight's positions have been thrown off quite a lot, so I'm going to see if I can pick them all up. Yeah, I can pick this one up. Is it just that one that I can't pick up for some reason? Okay. Then you... Yeah. I, I can't repair it either. So I guess we're going to have to destroy it. Crap. I accidentally hurt the... Stone there. Is this I also don't need, because that just leads to nowhere now. Okay. And this one here also leads to nowhere, so let's pick that up. I'm gonna get rid of all the stuff that we don't necessarily need hanging around, right? Okay. Can't pick that up because that one needed to be. Yeah. Um, let's get some forged iron. More bullet tips. Please and thank you. Go ahead and top off the iron again. Stone is still having a good time. But we'll make some. How much can I make now? 110, so. 350. And. Oop. One. Okay. i throw the spotlights and that in there. Aloe. Got the plant fibers. Play will be okay if I just put a half stack of that in there. Okay. How about this? We're almost out of stack. I'll take those. So I'll put those in there. Okay. Let's go ahead and repair this. So that I can pick it up. We'll just get rid of that. Then I can also now pick up this one, which has just been serving no purpose right now. Okay. Now I just have this, which turns on the lights, which is basically unnecessary. Um, I can't tell if these batteries are like being used even though there's nothing going into them. Like, it's actually kind of pointless to be honest. I'm just gonna pick this up. I don't need this. Okay, throw these back into here. Not the clay though, I need that. All right. So let's see how I want to do this now. So 
Maybe if I do here, yeah. Here's some rude zombies knocking at my door. Oops. Mr. Head. There we go. You done? Okay. Good. I'm gonna pull this up. Oh, I heard another zombie. Did hear another zombie, right? Oh, is it at this door? Oh, wow. Almost impressive. Oh, I thought she was dead. Now she is. She actually went through the whole maze. Well, I'm going to pick it up now. Okay. So we have this gun. Go ahead and get rid of this too. Perfect. All right. Now that. Anyway, as I was saying, now we got this here. I'm gonna take this and convert it into stairs. Put those here, those here. Now I have a nice, easy way out that's not, you know. Convert this back into a cube. I'm just gonna get rid of these bars. the shape and I want it to be they're like almost like an arched shape kind of like this but with like a triangular piece on it like uh like this yeah 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 I'll put that there kind of go down and it'll look kind of neat yeah fancy That just gives me more like room around here to walk around on, you know. Uh, so that's kind of cool. I can still fire down through here and provide good jazz. Feel nice. Okay. And in fact, while I have these kind of arch blocks here, I can use them to kind of create a nice sort of. Thing there. Cool. I'm not going to do those because I think I'm going to put just bars here. Well, I'm not going to do that. Okay. 
Not only is it just a matter of thinking about how I want the rest of this stuff to look. Hmm. Uh, maybe it would have been better to like just remove this entire slope and just have it be like flush so I could have moved those back a little bit further and whatnot. But that would be a lot of work to tear up all of that, and I don't think I want to do it. Oops. Okay, not select the shape. Back to the cube, please. Okay. So really the question at this point is, how am I going to make the upper area? Um, I guess if I put, like, a, a block here, do something like this, so that I can do something like this, and that kind of makes a, a locked-in area for the surrounding pieces to use, right? And the same with, like, this, so if I put a... Uh, that there. Do that there. Right. And kind of have that. Then. Ah, oh, how do I want to do this, though? Um. Hmm. So I could go like this, right? If I go like this, those aren't really being held up because the, the lip of the thing is right there, right? These aren't kind of stable, right? So if I put them over on this side, though, it would be more stable. But uh, no, I think it's fine like that. But also, it's kind of pointless, right? So what if instead... Hear me out here. We get this, go to advanced shapes, this, that, this, that, and then we go into the corner bars and also do advanced shapes. Turn it so it's like this, like a 90 degree angle, just turn here, right? Although that still doesn't work because it doesn't really catch it, but at the same time, it's going to have to suffice. That's all we're going to do. Okay. I can fortify these. Okay. Is that a bear? Back to the normal bars again, and back to advanced crafting. That was surprisingly easy there. Okay. So here we got this uh, this nice little kind of cage going. Which I think looks rather potters, right? Let's go ahead and finish the cage for this side. Placement. Placement, please. Maybe if I'm not doing it from like that side, what if I'm doing it from like this side, I think that'd be better. Honestly, at this point, the garden is just pointless anyway, because, I mean, let's be honest, I'm not growing anything here that's useful, because it doesn't give me enough seeds or plants for that matter, so the main source of food is just meat and uh, water, so, yeah, aren't we just amazing? This is how it's going to have to look down here. 
Come on, stop putting those up there. Okay. And I might as well fill this in while we're... This? Dang. The cobblestone is still going up. Well, I'm not getting any experience for it, which is not cool. I'm not even getting one experience anymore. delayed returns for it, I guess. Not cool. Okay. That's done. That's done. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with the middle section. Um, let's go ahead and bar this area up too. Place, 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 place. Okay. This is everything. Why is that? Why is that one bar not rotated the same way as the other ones? It kind of makes me upset. Right, let's upgrade these. Now that it's day 55, the question is, is the horde today or tomorrow? I'll have to wait to see if the number turns red later tonight. a little bit down here though. Yep, yeah, perfect. Most excellent. In fact, I might just take all this. I just put this stuff away. I don't think at this point it matters, to be honest, whether or not I grow food or not. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the seeds that I got. Look at that, I only got two seeds from this gathering of um, corn. Like, last time I got like eight, didn't I? Just Crazy. It doesn't make any sense. Why sometimes I get a bunch of stuff and other times I get none. Alright, how 
How's this looking? Good. Go ahead and store the quartered iron back here. So, 75, I think? Yeah. I was off a little bit, I think. So that's fine. Building materials. Go ahead and store that there. Okay. So, now that we have figured out this area for the part, uh, we now need to figure out this area. And I think if we do like what we did over here, just to this area, it might work. So let's go ahead and convert this into cubes again. And if I just go ahead and say here and that right. So if I just build over from here. I think that should be okay. Kind of just what we'll do. And then with that, everything that's outside the, the risen portion will be finished. Let's go ahead and make these into bars again. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and bar this area. Okay, let's upgrade. it until it's on top there. There we go. Anyone who's been keeping track at home, do you remember when the numbers turn red for the Horde Knight? Because I do not. Anyway, uh, we're at about 70%, so I'm guessing we're going to need to at least eat at least five of these. Two, three, four, I don't eat six, just for good measure. Five, 
Six. And that should get us the one B. Huh? Did this one run out of Oh! This one actually ran out of wood. Here we go. becomes how do I do this next piece right okay so not not that I swear to God, I'm clicking on the shape I want it. Don't armor high. So this will be up one more. Match with that. And then I probably also want to do the same thing to like this corner. Here. And then also over here. To do that. Right? And then. I guess we just go like this. Then I'll put one more here. There, and then over here. Then maybe I put this one back one more. That way it's Squared there. Go. Although maybe I put another pillar there just to be safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. And then. Build one here, that, then just do this, that. is that although what I would like to do now I think is make a path over here yeah yeah and then we'll do hmm the door uh, 
think I just put a door here. Do that. Then get this stuff back. And then if I get the bars back. I just kind of flip them here. Flip those there. I'll make kind of a nice little place so I can get on top of the roof completely here, just in case I need to do repairs or anything like that, right? And here, I can put these like that. Okay, today is work night. So is it 8 a.m. or 8.30 a.m. that it actually shows? Mm. Either way, um, okay. ah, come on. Okay, let's go ahead and these up. Two skill points. Go ahead and open this bad boy up. Get one more point in agility. I always need two more points, and then we can start spending stuff again. In. This will be kind of a interesting one. I think if we do this, and I'm going to save one there. And I can transform this into a corner and do that. Now if we run around here, everything should be geared inward, right? Yep. Now we can go ahead and go back inside. All right. Now we just have these little areas to fix. Let's go to this and grab this cube here, which I do. I'm not going to use advanced, huh? Oh, that one. I need a... I think it's a half slab, then. No, no. Holy shit! Where the fuck did that come from? It must have came up there. Holy crap. That was unexpected. At least we were in an area where it could not get up to us, so I guess that's kind of lucky. What was it trying to attack? Anyway, we were trying to figure out what would be the best piece there, so it wasn't... No... We use that, yeah? Would it be this? No, it doesn't look like it. Need like a flat little piece here. 
that I can use to make that look nice, you know? All I want. If I have to, I'll use that one piece we found before, but I'd rather we didn't. Hmm. Is, is this what it wants? Here? Oh my god, it is. Okay. Um, I guess I could do this. Looks goofy, but I could do that. That's fine. Okay. Next, we'll go back here to the bars. To advanced. Do our best to get as much building as we can. How's it going, uh, Veraldiris? I'm gonna call you Verald if you don't mind. Welcome to the stream. We're finishing our last preparations for Horde Night this time. I mean, that's all we've been doing for the past, like, couple days here, but regardless. Preparing. Go ahead and get this set up. There, 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 perfect. frames here so let's go ahead and build some more frames um do a hundred because we're gonna run out of wood frames and not be able to fortify them, you know. If we have enough time, we might be able to go grab some more trees, but for now, try to use what we have. Hearing things. And the last place we have to fortify is right here. And yeah, having those 
be there was definitely kind of a mistake. I have to raise all this up by one. Get away with doing that. And now I'm out of wood. Ooh, you hate to see it. Okay. Let's go grab some more wood before the night comes. So I can finish making the cage. Far, we can actually get that. All right, let's get the this wood, and then we'll go to the airdrop. It should be enough to tide us over for a little while. Airdrop, go back home. Luckily, it's just right here, so. Alright, what we got? Oh, yay, we got a farming bundle after I decided to stop farming. Lovely. I think. Since we're on, you know, day 55, and level like 72 now, it would have been like, oh, let me give you some better stuff. No, it was just like, nah, I think you guys want uh, some farming, don't you? Alright, let's get into our garage for the night. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take more gas, we'll refuel. that door and we'll close that door all right the vehicle is secure inside now now let's finish this up Get uh, this might work. Put advanced shapes, and then I can go ahead and do. Come on, come on, that. The corner won't work though. That's the thing. Gonna have to put a uh, normal block right there. Let's go ahead and shift that to a normal block. That there. Okay. And next, 
finish off the roof with the bars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, let's make 20 more frames. safe side and done all right four to five e's and we're perfect is nice and secure. We have our way up here so we can get on top, way, way top. Let's just do a quick sweep of the perimeter. Make sure it looks good. No gaps or anything hiding here that's gonna mess me up. Okay, all that looks good. Here, that door looks good. So we have the enemies that can enter from here. And that'll be pretty simple. Um, Although, do I want to get a door here, maybe? Maybe I just get a door. Just real quick. To, uh... I put a door here. Then let's get rid of this one. Take this. I'm going to convert this into... Honestly, I could go bars here and here, then here, and no, let's not do that one. Um, here and here, yeah. Then if I just remove this. I'm gonna get three more of these. Okay, then I can put that there, and there, and there. Let's get three more normal frames. Normal, normal. There, there, there. Okay. Perfect. Now it's actually sealed, so I don't have like an opening for a bear to come in and grab me. The only other entrance that I have is here, which we're gonna have to leave. That's fine. And over to on my other roof, where I inevitably have four zombies that'll come after me. Ah, that's fine. All right. So let's make. Can I make fifty more frames? Okay. Let's do that. Because now it's time make a cage for this side. Okay. Here, here, here. Go. There, and then we'll trade these in for a corner one. There, there, there. Rotate and do there, there, there. There, there, and there. Back to the normal shape. There, there, there. Let's fortify this. We won't be able to finish making this cage tonight, I don't think, just because the low stock of wood and due to time constraints, but we'll at least be able to start it. Perfect. Alright, that's 
one side done. Then I can also make these here. That's going to be lowered most of the time. Start over here as well. Okay. Uh, how many more do I have? Can I make 500? No, not too really many. Can I make 200? I can. Let's go to make 200 more. Time to make the basic perimeter here. Oh, that's not the the edge. Well, This, just keep the process along. Okay, perfect. And then let's get the corner shape back. Finish up this one. Not there. Thought I rotated enough, but I did not. And then over here, of course. Perfect. Beautiful. Lovely. Main issue is going to be wood here. we got left 300 I might be able to finish it have to see at least finish the, the wall won't be able to finish the ceiling or anything but oh we're out of cobblestone can we finish the wood wall though we can. Yes, we can. All right. So that's all done. And if we raise this up, we'll see that it looks like this here. So that's perfect. All right. So let's lower this again, just so it's there. And then, can I make any more cobble? Can. Uh, let's make some more because I think I stopped making it because I was trying to make other stuff. That's fine. Super corn seeds, huh? Go ahead and eat this canned food. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Six? Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's gonna be a deal, ain't it? First things first, let's go back in here, drop off the stuff we do not need. We want to keep. Uh, build materials into the farm plot in there, why not? Up the cell, I'll throw this testosterone in there. Cap off the iron. 
grab all that. Take even more bullet tips. Um, actually, I might turn this off now since I don't have any letter brass to put into it. How's this looking? Still producing. All right, my cement mixers are finished with everything they have. Okay. Flip parts go in there. All right. So let's close this real quick. All right. So I will be right back. I'm going to go to the bathroom quick before Horror Night happens. So I'm just going to let the game kind of idle here just so we can make more cobblestone and stuff like that. I will be right back. All right, and we are back. Oh, man. Just the usual stormy night before the horde. go finish upgrading these things to cobblestone out here. How much wood do I have left? 50. 
It's not a lot. Let's look and just do this quick. Cannot put any more wood down, or wood upgrades that is, but I can at least start building the next planned upgrade here. Not gonna build those. I want to make sure I get everything upgraded when I do this. There'll be some pieces that aren't upgraded if I put corners in. If I put a woman here, I'm probably going to forget about that one, right? I guess not since there's corners underneath. Yeah, that's fine. This is fine. So here's the basic outline perimeter. Uh, can I put anything over here? I cannot. Because the, the bridge is in the way. That's fine. Um, how far does the bridge extend? Is it here? Is it here? I think it's here, okay. So I can do this. Up there. Kind like of build around the um gate there. Okay, so I'll put normal fences and stuff all around this area. I already have that there, so I can't do that, but I can put this here. I think that should be stable enough for that stuff. Need anything? Hmm, I, I feel like I need something in the middle here to hold, hold it up. Let's go ahead and put one here. That's roughly the middle. There we go. Alright, so everything else will be filled in with uh, wooden frames, or bars, I mean. I said frames. And you know, I, I might as well do that while we're waiting for Horde Knight. Crap, I messed up. I messed up! Keep messing up! Oh my god. There we go. Because if a, if a bird does come and attack here, I will just have these. These will just be destroyed quite easily. But. I'd rather have them have a little bit earlier warning than not have them and need them, right? Start over here. Think about where let's put these last three you know, just right there is fine okay well we should probably start getting our items ready for uh for tonight here so let's get rid of our auger our chainsaw and we're sure gonna hold on to them it's just they're gonna be out of our inventory the knife doesn't matter lever action doesn't matter arrow doesn't matter we'll move this stuff down here open up our guns and let's go ahead and get our tactical rifle, pump shotgun. Um, why not bring the revolver too? I could put a couple of apps in some people. Oh, let's see. 
Any mods to put on this weapon? I don't think so. Can I put a red dot on this? I can. Okay. A red dot magnum. Not bad. Okay, let's make sure everything's loaded. Ready to go. Perfect. Sounds good. So we're going to switch back to normal ammo. And I'm going to... Do that. We're going to reload now. Okay. Let's go ahead and get all the 5.56 five, we can hold right now. Go, and then of course... We're gonna want our shotgun shells for this. Okay, so we have around 200 magnum rounds. We have over a thousand uh, shotgun shells right now. We have 1400 uh, 762, and we have around 800 pistol, which uh, we do have more, of course, but at this point. I don't want to bring it all down at the same time, right? Oh, I'm gonna do that. Do I have any stone left? Oh, I'm out of stone. Okay. Well, go ahead and store this stuff back here then. And how is my furnace here looking? Looking pretty good. Of course, I want to get my medical supplies, uh, and we'll eat a little bit of this. Okay, so we have our first aid kits. Let's get our cast. Get our, get our herbal supplements in case we get infected, and our painkillers in case we get a concussion or something. And that should be all the medical supplies we need. We're also going to get the elixir before I forget. That way we can get as much experience as we can. All right, so here's the plan. Uh, last time we had, you know, defended this area, we were in the process of building this one. But this time, now that we have this one here, what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to sit right here, and they should all try to come through this one. And so... Whilst doing so, I'll just start taking them out here and trying to kill them as they get here, because then I'll just get all the experience from the, the, uh, the blade traps and stuff. So I'm going to use a little more ammunition. However, we're also going to turn on the blade traps here, just in case. And if this place does get a little overwhelmed, um, I will retreat across, raise the drawbridge, which will help out. Speaking of drawbridge, I almost forgot about this one. That would have been bad. They would have just came straight over this. Now there's that gap that they can't jump and get across. So, close that so birds can't get in. This area is like our fallback point, yeah? Okay, so let's go ahead. And we'll turn on the generator around 2150. Because um, I don't want to waste fuel. Although we haven't really used that much fuel for it. But we have had... Ooh, horde nights before, so it, it should be fine regardless. I just don't want to waste stuff just in case. Okay, and we'll turn it on now. All right, she's on. All the blade traps are spinning. The electrical wires should be electrocuting. And then we'll turn on this generator when night actually happens. And the, the one thing I'm concerned with is if there are the cop zombies uh, who do spawn, I am going to have this fall. There's the blood moon. All right. Light this boy up. It's time. I'm going to get nice and close up here. Fend them off as they come in. Okay. 
pop heads here. Use the Lunar Elixir quick. This, this is perfect. Keep using this until the uh, learning elixir is over. So I can get as many kills as I can. Shotgun's actually working really nice. Lunar Nilisha is worn off. No more bonus experience will be had. Damn.
We're doing quite well right now. Less even time now. It's about to break. Let's go ahead and repair it and use the assault rifle again. Spinny blade trap kill the dogs. Oh, he's getting pretty far. He almost made it, didn't he? there. And we get a third level before the night's over. the uh, magnum for a bit. Cause a lot of damage if they explode. And I want to avoid that. The Magnum's actually really good for like popping their heads real quick. This guy just frickin' like, stage dive.
gotta make sure the cops die. You guys good down here? Yeah, all the dogs are dying. Good for us. Don't push. Plenty of room. Zombies. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's dead. Reload everything quick. Shotgun a little bit since we have a surplus of shotgun shells. As soon as they hit that first trap, they're just dead. Trying to cut in line here, huh? Rude. Three levels off, hell yeah. Can we go for a fourth? I highly doubt it, but can we at least get some experience towards the fourth? They got through. The first one took damage this time. It only had like 20 minutes left to go until morning comes.
Oh, come on, what are you guys doing breaking the floor? Maybe that was me with all the shotgun blasts going in that area, huh? Could be it. Ah, dang. All right, it's morning now. All we gotta do is clean up and we'll be good. that too. Alright, let's go ahead and refuel this and turn it off. Here what we can here. Okay. Let's go ahead and make sure this area looks secure. Let's go through here real quick. Make sure everything looks good. Yeah, no one even got near this door. Cool. Power on down. Alright, and then... I'm gonna go ahead and store some ammo, and then we'll start looting all that loot down there. So used to the hatch being there that I just totally spaced off what I was doing, where I was going. Magnum rounds go in here. Back to the AP ammo, please. Might as well store the uh, medical supplies back in here, too. Cool, cool, cool. All right, everything back to your proper place so I don't forget. Do that. And, all right. This goes down. Everything here looks good. This is our first time holding this particular base. We'll uh, want to do a nice sweep of the perimeter. Make sure everything looks good. That definitely took some damage. The, uh, up there. We got a lot of loot bags, which is just superb. I think that's because of our, our special lucky looter. Uh, Let's go ahead and eat some of this canned food. Let's go ahead and scrap some of the trophies and stuff that we got. We don't need iron gloves, huh? Go ahead and scrap those. I keep this beer so I can make it into stuff. Scrap those. Oh, what's this? A uh, reserve fuel tank mod schematic. Ooh, so we can use even more fuel with our trucks. That's cool. Go ahead and remove the headlamp. So I can scrap that. Alright, keep looting. At this point, we're just basically full until we can get some stuff scrapped. Let's, uh, for now, I'm going to go ahead and just replace, oh, there's another bag here, everything, go ahead and replace the, the concrete there, we'll have to go grab some concrete from inside, might as well do that while we're waiting for stuff to wrap.
Okay. Uh, let's grab that next. Go ahead and put brass in here. Oh, we learned how to make pumpkin pie. Scrap that. Scrap that. Scrap that. Scrap that. There we go. Food box. You. You. I guess this would go in medical supplies. This looks like beers. Medical supplies somehow. Go in there. Parts, throw you there, throw you there, you there. Up the cell, you, you. Now let's go ahead and put our guns away. So, Magnum, shotgun, the tactical. Those things all served us really well. I was honestly surprised at how well all of that stuff worked out for us. So, I was very pleasantly surprised. Maybe these? That was very good, very, very good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off this furnace. I don't think I need it on right now. Okay, what else we got in this? We have plastic, that, that. For those. Go ahead and store that and that, I think. Combine that. I think I had some more brass that broke down. I can add into there. Okay. Extra 5.56, five, extra pistol. Got the blood bag and can and that. All right, let's continue to. Whoop. Almost forgot. I wanted to get some uh, concrete. Get some steel as well. I have steel stuff out there now. All right, so now we can go out and continue fortifying stuff. Oops, well, that happens. Before we continue to repair, let's get this stuff out of the way just in case. I don't know if it despawns, but just in case it does, I would like to get rid of it quick. to scrap it doesn't look like it i think everything else i want to hold on to so that's good all right door all right let's check the ground here so i'm fairly certain that all the damage that came from the um ground level was because of me shooting downward. And that's one of the things I want to do in our next build that we're going to be making. I think past here everything should be good because they didn't get anywhere near there. So that's perfect. I think at this point I just upgrade these two be just cement as well right here. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Oh, you love to see it. Mm, hell yes. All right. And we should also... Since they all did exactly what I wanted them to, I'm very proud of that. So let's make sure that these all look good. I know some dogs got in here. Oh man, what a waste. Perfect. All right. Excellent. All right, so that worked perfect. We don't even have to. I was thinking maybe we could, yeah, just upgrade the uh, the walls of um, this around the, the second layer. Be steel, like we have in some other places. Because the zombies like to attack there, you know. Um, but. 
This actually worked perfectly to where we don't even really need to do that because they did not even try to attack anywhere else other than here, you know? So... Really works out for us here. Okay. Perfect. So there is definitely something else that I want to try. Um, this bunker, think of it as a test run for what we're going to do next. And we're going to build another bunker on the other side of uh, this place. The idea is, basically, of course, it takes iron. Basically, the idea is... What we'll do is I'm going to have out here, we're going to have kind of like a, a tower bunker a ways away from this wall so we have enough to like make it nice and thick. And we'll have another like linear thing of death full of uh, the, the shocky wires, right? Um, and then I'll have another drawbridge that leads over to right here, roughly. So that way I can get back onto here if that place does get overran. But the idea for this new building, um, I kind of thought about it after we had started building the other place, and I just had an epiphany after that horde happened, uh, where we didn't use that place, but we used this one still, where it looks like the floor is getting damaged because of what I'm doing. And by that I mean when I'm shooting downwards at them at an angle, uh, just so I can see their heads better, What's happening is that their heads are not really stopping the bullets from hitting the ground. Or if I shoot them and they're already dead, I'm, I'm just happening to do a little extra damage to the ground, right? And I figured what we could do instead of that, or to try and get around that, is if I could take that and make it so I could shoot just at their head level, not have to worry about them getting in the way or anything like that. And that's when the epiphany came and it was like, oh, why don't we make the same exact thing we're doing now, except instead of having the place be above that we're shooting from, we're shooting from inside the bunker, right? And Usually I wouldn't like to do that because I wouldn't be able to see the birds coming or stuff like that. Uh, but I think if I use the same methodology that we've been doing, where we have had... I'm trying to put stuff away while also talk, and it's it's not working out, let me tell you. Um, but anyway, I'll also have to go to the bunker to explain it better. Otherwise, I'm just going to get clustered over and over again. Let's put this stuff away. Um, I'll hold on to these. I'll just eat those next. Uh, yeah. How's this stuff looking? I think we were overflowing there, which is not good. Okay, perfect. So, <clears throat> as I'm trying to say here, so the idea for the new bunker is something similar to this, where we have just a row of, you know, things down here, right? Where it's all like this. However, I want to be here, and I want to be shooting their heads as they are coming at me. But I want to be protected, right? I don't want to have um, the zombies, if I can't react fast enough to close the door, I don't want to have them obviously getting in and causing problems. So my idea is... Something like this, but instead of making it just a linear line, make it an L shape. So, for example, I'll have uh, the door, instead of being here, it'll be here. And then I'll have like a little passageway to get back to here. And instead of the door, I'll just have uh, bars in front of me here, right? And then I can shoot through the bars, and I'll make sure to have one down lower as well, just so um, the zombies don't necessarily want to... If they're crawlers or if there's dogs, I can shoot them down that way. And that'll be kind of the idea. And then up above, I'll put bars as well as a trap door. And that way, with uh, that kind of format, what I can do is shoot the birds as they try to attack me. The cops shouldn't vomit over 
top, I don't think. So that should be good. And then I'll be able to just kind of cap heads here and there will be nothing kind of in the way to, to deal with. And I, mean, I could adjust this bunker to be that same exact thing, but hey, I figure we could uh, use the experience to keep modifying stuff, right? So we also have to finish this off, which we're pretty close to doing. All we need to do is grab some wood. Good there. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of the plan. And it's going to be fun. All right, but that's going to be next time. We're going to end things here for today, everyone. So thank you all for hanging out and watching. Um, next time, uh, all we've been doing lately is just building up the base. But we did manage to find out that the horde did come um, after the last one. So we set it to every six days now, and it came on day 55. So what happened six days after day uh, 49, which was the last time we had a horde? So that's good to know. So if we do adjust it in the future, it'll be from the last time we had a horde that we'll be seeing the, uh, the Zombros. So cool. I think we're going to leave it at six days for now. Um, you know, we, we could lower it again. I guess. Because we have plenty of time. All we're doing is building a base now, so... We might lower to five days, you know? Five days to die. And then from there, we can keep going, depending on how we do. But I think this new bunker idea that I have, after we finish the current one, and make it nice and secure looking, we can go over to do the next one. And I think that'll be quite nice. Um, yeah. Right? Nice. But yeah, that'll be the plan for next time. We'll continue to finish this bunker that we've been working on, and then start on the next one and go from there. So thank you all for watching. Until next time, I'll catch y'all later. Bye for now.